Hey guys and welcome back to this series of videos on using Google Sheets for iPads. Last time we were looking at functions and formulas and the main differences between the two, including some commonly used formulas and common functions. Today we're looking at viewing and sorting, including navigating your way around the workspace, sorting data in order, for example A to Z numerically, and adding filters to a column so that you can sort in different ways. Let's get started. Now again, in the description below, I've linked to the spreadsheet that I'm going to be using today so that you can practice along with me. Just click the link, make a copy of that document. So let's start with scrolling and zooming. So once you've opened the sheet, you'll see the data that is already there in front of you. You can scroll uh, using your fingers to the side or down. By default, Google Sheets has a certain number of columns and rows. You can delete those extra ones that you don't need if you wish, and you can zoom in and out with your two fingers as you usually would with your iPad. So find a suitable view that suits you and we'll get started with the sorting. So for example, if you select a column here like column A and tap it again, you'll see this menu pop up and you can scroll along to sort A to Z or sort Z to A. If I sort A to Z, then you'll see a problem straight away is that the title row is also included uh, in that selection as well, which is not really what we want. Now, a better way to do this is to, again, select the column that you want to sort, but this time head to the More Options menu and create a filter. And you'll see these three lines appear next to the title at the top. That title won't be included this time when we sort the data in column A. So we can sort here A to Z, or Z to A, or we can select and deselect certain names down here. Now, the problem with this is that it doesn't sort all the data, it just sorts the four names, which means the four names don't match the rest of the data anymore. So let's head back to where we started from. This time we're going to select all the data from A1 down to G21. And again, we can create a filter and this time you'll see that that filter icon appears on all the columns, which means that all of this data will be sorted correctly. So again, if I try and sort the four names from A to Z, you'll see that all the data then moves with it as well. So that this, the four names and surnames and all the other data matches in each row. Same as Z to A, same if we clear all the data and just select certain people on that list. And there we go, it's very easy to do. Another way to sort this data is numerically. For example, we could sort these people from youngest to oldest. So A to Z will start with the smallest number and Z to A will start with the largest number. We could do the same for race wins. A to Z starts with the smallest number and the same for championships as well. Now you can't create conditional formatting as such on the iPad, that's a desktop only feature. But what we can do is sort the data depending on different conditions. For example, if we wanted to just show drivers with the age of 30 or more, then we can use this button here, filter by condition. And we're gonna create a condition here, for example, um, greater than or equal to 30. And when we hit done, you will see only the drivers that are 30 or above. We also might want to display just a specific team, in which case we can again set a condition to filter by where the text is exactly what we specify. So for example, if I wanted RB drivers, then I'd type RB and it would just show those two drivers for that particular team. And last up, we're gonna quickly look at hiding data um, if you wanted to hide a particular row, you can tap on it. And again, look at this menu, scroll across to hide row. And you'll see that that row is now hidden and these two arrows appear instead. If you tap on those arrows, you'll get the row back. And it's the same for any column that you might want to hide as well. Hide column, you'll see the two arrows that show there's a hidden column there. And again, if you tap there, that column will come back. So that's all on viewing and sorting data for today. Next time we're going to be looking at charts and images and inserting those into our documents. See you next time.